Hi everyone, it's Intang Mayumi. I have three cards, one die hard kit collaboration with Cheryl. I recently subscribed to Spellbinder's die hard kit of the month and we decided to make three cards using that die kit. We also have another collaboration with Nancy at the end of the month so stay tuned for that. The Die Hard Kit August 2019 has large kit called Write On and small kit called Pack It Up. I think this kit is really good and you get a lot of dice. For my first card, I'm going to make patterns from the notebook dice. I'm going to do some ink blending first just to add color on my panel. The ink I'm using is Broken China Distress Oxide. I'm using my paddle brush to get a smooth blending on my panel and I love these brushes because you don't have to work hard to blend the color on the paper. I'm going to place my sentiment die in the middle of the panel Secure it with washi tape and then run it through my die cutting machine. And then I will remove all those letters out with my pokey tool. I will change it with red letters later so I don't need those ones that I remove. I'm showing you the notebook uh, die, die cut here and that's what I'm going to assemble and I use this Abriel 6x6 paper pad and I also use this Doodlebug School Days paper pad. This notebook die is super easy to assemble and I use double sided tape to put the pieces together. These images are so cute it looks like a real school notebooks after I assembled all of them. I die cut different cute patterns from the 6x6 paper pad that I showed you earlier. And these are all the notebooks that I put together. I had so much fun with these notebooks. Before I adhere the notebooks on my panel, I will spray distress resist spray on my panel you can also use uh, water to do this but I have this one so I just use it the sprayer got clogged while spraying on the paper so I just opened it and just flick the liquid on the paper and then blot the excess with towel I will arrange the notebooks the way I want it and adhere them with liquid adhesive And then I will cut the excess that are hanging off the edge with my paper trimmer. You can use scissor to cut the excess but I can't cut straight so I just use my trimmer. After all the pieces are adhered, I will add this panel on my A2 size card base measures 4 and 1 fourth by 5 and a half inches. I die cut the sentiment with red cardstock and I will inlay them on the middle of the panel where the negative die cut is. For the inside of the card, I adhere one notebook in the corner. I made two cards from all of the notebooks that I put together today. 
I also added some of these gems from Little Things from Lucy's Cards called Rainbow Bright Diamonds. I scattered different colors on the panel and adhered them with glossy accents. And using my crystal katana to position them on the card. And lastly, I add shimmer on all of the white rectangles using Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen. I also did that in the inside of the card. Moving on to the second card, I'm coloring this apple with Pyrrole Red from my Daniel Smith palette. And for the tiny leaf, I use Sap Green. And for the pull to go with the zipper, I use Pyro Red as well. After the coloring is done, I will assemble all the die cut pieces. I cut a white cardstock to go in the back of the backpack so it's sturdier, but you don't have to do this because if you're just going to adhere it on the panel, it it doesn't matter I lost some footage here so the next part will just jump into adhering everything on the background panel my panel is Arches cold press watercolor paper and I die cut it with the largest die from Gina Marie Designs Stitch Rectangle die set and using my flat brush I painted wide stripes using Hansa Yellow Medium from my palette. I die cut the sentiment again with red cardstock and leave them still intact so when I adhere them on the card I will just add adhesive and push them out on the paper with my pokey tool. Some of the die cut pieces are not adhered in the bag and I just added them so the recipient can remove and look at them. And then I will add this panel on my card base. And I'm using 110 pound cardstock from Michaels. I added three different colors of the large gem from Little Things from Lucy's Cards Diamond Rain Rainbow Brights and adhere them on the upper right corner of the card. For the inside of the card, I will stamp a sentiment that says So Proud of You from Simon Says Stamp Lunchbox Notes to Stamp Set. And I'm going to stamp this using Kaleidocolor Tomato Vine ink so I get a different color when I stamp it on the card, in the inside of the card. And I'm also stamping the small heart um, with red ink. For the third card, I already went ahead and die cut all the pieces and temporarily adhere them on the scotch paper. So the pieces doesn't move when I color them and I use colors from my palette of Daniel Smith watercolors and zig marker. After I colored the pieces, then I will adhere everything together using glossy accents.
For the sentiments, I use Paper Tree Ink Great Teacher's Stamp Set. I will stamp the sentiment with Versafine Onyx Black Ink and emboss it with Wow Clear Embossing Powder. I added the pencil and pen on each side of the clipboard. I also add the pink paper clip on the on top of the clipboard and I end up not using the scissors so I will use that on different project next time. I use foam tape on the back of the apple so it has dimension and I'm going to adhere that in the middle of the card. And for the inside of the card I Again, use one of the sentiment from Paper Tree Ink's stamp set and I'm going to stamp it with Versafine Onyx Black Ink and my cards are finished. I will leave a link of Cheryl's video tutorial using the same die kit that I use in my description box below and head over to his channel to see what she created from the uh, die kit. I hope you had fun watching this three cards one die hard kit video tutorial and I hope you like the cards I created. As always, thank you so much for always watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. I hope you like today's cards and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.